Hello, thanks for joining me. You're probably wondering where on earth I am. And if I got off a train here and saw that sign, so would I be. But if I pan around a bit, you can see I'm at a typical British railway station. We're at Handforth in Cheshire. But when I saw this sign, I thought, what on earth is that? But then I realised there are some rather quite unusual signs here. So here is the real Handforth sign. Now if we come along here, we have the traditional um, London Midland Region red sign of Handforth. And I pan around, there's another one there, British Railways Handforth Station. Looking down there, the camera's probably not picking them out, so we're going to have to go over and have a look. There's all these different Handforth signs, some really quite interesting and unusual ones. So, firstly I'm going to show you around the station, show you all these really exciting signs, and then I'm going to walk into the town centre, I'll be able to remove my mask, and um, we're going to go to the miniature railway in Hanforth, which I've not been to before, but I'm really quite excited about going to. But before miniature railways, I have for you a little narrow gauge railway. Look at this. On the station, here we have a garden. They've laid some narrow gauge track and there's a wagon there. Um, so it's all supplied by the Friends of Hanforth Station and um, it's won many awards from the Winslow Dean Rotary Club of some of the best stations in Cheshire so it's it's really nice to see a station you know that's had so much put into it so this is the theme garden done in 2002 there's the wagon um, on that little narrow gauge railway so I'll just let you see that it's an old sleeper with carving on it and then there's the the wagon so now let's go over the other side and um, have a look to see what we have over there so we'll go up the steps and um, get out the station that's an old um, that sign I believe that's what was it when they were regional railways I think that's a regional railways and fourth station sign so um, just get to the top get to road. I'd planned to just take you here to Hanforth and we'd walk straight into the town centre. When I got here I realised there was so much to see. Look, there's a silhouette of a steam loco. There's a British Rail sign of Hanforth. So here's the front of the station. This is even a pub called The Railway. So what we're going to be doing when I finished here, this is where I was going to remove my mask and walk down into Hanforth. I'm going to have to wait a moment because there's a few more things. Look at this. This is exciting. Hanforth, twinned with Malahide, which is in Ireland. It's the furthest north station on the Dart, the Dublin Area Rapid Transit. It's also on the main line up from Dublin to Belfast. So Hanforth is twinned with Malahide. And I suppose Hanforth is probably, although in Cheshire, is a similar distance from Greater Manchester that Malahide is from Dublin. There we have the BR Roundel station sign. There we have another British Rails Hanforth station sign. Got some artwork here. Let's go down onto this platform and uh, have a look at all these other rather exciting signs. You know, I really like railway stations that are just a bit different and, you know, do something exciting. It, it just makes things a bit more, you know, just different and exciting. It's, it's fun. I wish we had more stations like this. Look, um, now we have Hanforth. Look at that SNCF. So imagine for a moment I'm in France and I'll be saying bonjour. And I don't know how to say thank you for joining me in French, but we have it in French. And then you come down here, two handful signs here. This is the Manchester Metrolink. So that's the older Metrolink style signs, and that's the more modern Metrolink style signs. But the Metrolink doesn't actually come this far south to Hanforth. So we're now coming into here. What else have we got? There's the dot matrix. Next train is going to crew. Um, so we're not going to wait and see that because it's not for about 15 minutes. We might see a few trains passing through at speed, so I'm obviously going to keep behind the yellow line. So let's have a look, see what else we can find. So here we have Hanforth Irin Roderin sign. So Irin Roderin, that's Irish Rail. So we've had French, we've had Irish, we've had, we, I think it was possibly Russian. And for those of you who live in London, Hanforth is also now a London Underground station. The mask is slipping off. Hanforth is a London Underground station. And it's also got a DB sign, Hanforth. And so it's really quite, you know, how many different signs. And then, now we're in Northern Ireland. Look, Hanforth, Northern Irish Railways. Um, we're pretty much having a trip 
around the world. And over there, I think I missed that one, but there's one in either Japanese or Russian, um, sorry, not Russian, Japanese or Chinese maybe. Um, and then we have a Mersey Rail. Hanforth is now a Mersey Rail station. This is really quite funny. I, you know, it's just, I've never come across a station like this. And then I think this one, maybe that's London Overground, not sure. Anyone wants to comment and tell me, please do. Um, what, what, what next? Oh, DLR, handful DLR station sign. Not sure. What, oh, no, I, I can see this one. We're now on the Isle of Man, handful Isle of Man Steam Railway Company. Um, what's this next one? Oh, now the Netherlands. Handful isn't in a Netherlands style sign. This one, my viewers can help me out here. I don't know what style that's written in. So, if you want to comment and tell me, please do. Is that a train I can hear coming? No, it's just a noisy vehicle up on the road. Here's that British Railways sign. This one, I'm not entirely sure. I might have guessed Irish, but we've already had Irish, so if anyone knows which country that one is, please do comment and tell me. I think that's it now. Um, there's one more old style sign here of Hanforth. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk back along the platform um, and I'm going to head to Hanforth Town Centre and we're going to go and ride the Miniature Railway. So we'll be, after our little trip around the world, we're going back to Hanforth, England. So I've just walked up from the railway station. I'm now walking through Paddock Shopping Centre in the centre of Hanforth. This is where all the local shops are. Now, the miniature railway we're going to is behind these shops. So what we're going to do, we're going to think there's a way out this corner here. We're going to go out there and then we're going to go and find the little railway. So um, it is literally just behind these shops there. It's quite a nice little, I like this centre. Um, even the buildings are sort of, you know, um, not traditional style. It's nice to have a little green space right in the centre of the town. So if I follow my way through here, out of this corner here, and the park that the railway's in is just behind here. So it's probably one of the closest niche railways I've ever found to a town centre, because normally they are some distance. So if you're coming by train, like I did, um, once you've finished looking at all those amazing station signs from around the world, it, um, it's about five, ten minute walk up from the railway station to here. Or if you come by car, you've got this really big car park around the back of the shopping centre. So you could park here and then you'd have a very short walk to the railway. It's just through this gate here. This takes us into the park. Um, get here, what have we got? So here we are, here's the park. Oh, I can see a train going around in the so we're going to go down here, we've got the tennis courts and the gym in the park. This building, this is their clubhouse. I can see, I'm covering steam and I can see a big class 47 diesel going around. So um, here we've got a racetrack railway in the middle with a ground level 7 and a quarter inch gauge railway. I'm just going to show you this because I, it's the first bit of track we see. Look, there's a bit of track that just ends there. Now that is for the visiting locos. So visiting locos would arrive here, they cut this little driveway, unload there, and let's go off down there to join the railway line. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go across this lawn um, and have a look at um, the railway. So, yeah, that's, that's the clubhouse and everything, that's the engine sheds on to there. There's a little steam loco. I'm quite excited about having, hopefully I'll be able to have a ride behind the steam loco just there. And um, out on the track is a class 47 diesel. So just arriving at the station now, I'm going to have my ride. And, um, and then when I've had a ride, what I'll probably do, I'll do some, you know, some um, run past shots. So um, enjoy. Let's just watch the train go past before... I then go and get on the next trip. So when the train arrives at the station, I'm going to get on. So let's go for a ride behind 
the Class 47 at Hanford.
So a very enjoyable trip behind this steam locomotive and the class 47. This loco only had its boiler tested this morning and I was its first revenue earning passenger so I'm really quite proud of that and class 47 is coming along now if you wonder why it's in that grey colour it's due to be repainted into intercity colours so that's why the class 47 currently has no livery but I'm sure if we come here soon to be an intercity livery so let you see class 47 again. Now this building here, this is the clubhouse. I've been given permission to go and have a look and show you a few things inside the clubhouse. So that's where we're going to go now. I'll just show you a couple of things here. You've got the, um, the steaming bays here. You've got this rather interesting piece of equipment. So that swings round so they can get a loco from here across the flat level track to the race track without actually having to lift it. And then they've got a turntable, there's a steep bank up there into the engine shed but now we're going to go into the clubhouse because we're going to go and see a couple of other locos inside because it's also the shed so as we come in through here this is the clubhouse now um a bit unusual but we're going to go gentlemen um in a minute we're going to go in there i think someone's using it because there's actually a steam loco in there i'm just going to show you here this is their main um engineering workshop and, um, here's the, so you can see the track, see looking out there, and um, there's a couple more more locos just down there. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the club members to eat their lunch, and now let's come out, I'm just going to just go through here into the men's toilets, and um, as if by magic we have, we have a steam loco. In, in the men's, there's the urinals there, here in the men's toilet on steam loco, which I think is quite funny, it's just because it's just here out of the way, it doesn't really live in here, it's just been put here, but hopefully in the future they'll be out running again, but have a look at this, so it's called Lost Dock, there's its works play, so um, it's a really nice little loco. What I'm going to do now is... Um, I'll go back outside and um, soon it'll be time for us to head back to Hamforth Station. So come out here. I've had a great time here, so what I'm going to do... Oh look, the um, steam loco is out again. See the steam loco over there? I'm going to head off to Hamforth Station, travel back home. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment. You know, if you're in Hanforth or if you're in Manchester, jump on the train and come down to Hanforth. It's not far from the station. Come and enjoy this railway. Look, there's a big, big queue of people now queuing up to, to have their ride on this really nice little railway in this really nice little park in Hanforth. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Yeah. Yeah.